All right, in this video, we're going to, uh, it's going to be a series of videos that I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, some of you are probably looking at this because you're getting ready to take the uh, DMA placement test. Um, and the test is rather long. And ultimately, what these series of videos are going to be able to do is you watch these before you take the test, and maybe you can go into that placement test a little bit more comfortable, uh, feeling a little bit more comfortable about it. And um, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. When you go take this placement test, each module has 12 questions. And the modules are DMA 10 through DMA 80. You will take 12 questions from DMA 10 up to DMA 60. But for DMA 70 and DMA 80, you will not have questions on the placement test from these. If you can place out of DMA 60, you will automatically place out of DMA 70 and DMA 80. Now, there's a, a few weird things about it. I mean, you could place out of 10 and place out of 30 and place out of 40, but you might not place out of 20. Each module is going to be graded separately. And in order to show proficiency in each module, you must answer seven or more questions correctly. So if you answered eight questions right for DMA 10, you place out of that. If you answered four correct in DMA 20, you would need to take DMA 20. If you answered, say, six right in DMA 30, you would need to take DMA 30, the class. If you answered seven right in DMA 40, you would place out a DMA 40 because that's seven or more questions. And the same thing applies to all of these. But again, remember, for DMA 60, if you answer seven or more here, you'll automatically place out of DMA 70 and DMA 80. Now, the test is untimed. Average testing time is two or more hours because think about it. If you have 12 questions per module and you're testing on six of these modules, well, six times 12, that's going to be 72 potential questions you may take. Um, also, uh, no calculators are allowed. One will, be, one will be provided for each question as the test deems necessary. You will be taking this test on a computer, and if you have a question where the calculator can be used, a calculator will pop up on the computer screen. Um, but I can go ahead and tell you, for DMA 10 and DMA 20, when you're dealing with operations with integers and when you're dealing with fractions and decimals, I can guarantee you're probably not going to see a calculator there because uh, we want to make sure that you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers, fractions, and decimals without the use of the calculator. So uh, watch these series of videos and, and study. Take this test very serious because essentially what you could be doing, you could be adding more time to your college career or, or what have you there um, because you would need to take these DMAs. If you don't take that placement test serious or if you don't study, you don't prep for it, you, know, you, you will be adding some time um, in order for you to complete your degree. So keep that in mind. Also, uh, feel free to visit this website here. Um, I have more DMA videos that can be found here as well. But uh, again, if this series of videos, these series of videos is going to be geared towards the student who is getting ready to take the placement test. However, if you are currently in a DMA course, you may want to consider retaking the placement test after watching these videos, or heck, you still might want to watch these videos because these questions that I'm going to be covering in, these, in this series of videos will be questions that you may see in any one of these DMA modules. But there you have it. Look for um, the DMA 10, DMA 20, and so forth uh, in the near future, and I'll also you know, put some links somewhere up here in the video. But that's it for this video. Hope it helped.